And they actually escaped from the From the new match types, like the ambulance match to super finishes to the new trading blows mini game, new weapons, throwable weapons, backstage brawl chaos, more blood, and the 40 years of WrestleMania showcase, WWE 2K24 could very well be a contender for the best WWE 2K game of all time. Welcome, my name is Money Benjamin. I'm an ex pro wrestler, now Final Fantasy and WWE content creator. And I was lucky to be flown out to Tampa Bay, Florida to get hands on with WWE 2K24 for a whole six hours. And that was a long time to spend with the game. And in this video, I'm here to bring you my in depth initial impressions and gameplay from my time with the game. And just a heads up, this was a small build of the game. So I could only access a small amount of things including a limited roster normal match type backstage brawl the ambulance match and three matches of the 40 years of wrestlemania mode but we'll get all to that later on in the video so first off let's talk presentation the character models still look fantastic with notable changes to the likes of roman reigns and becky lynch with bianca belair and trish stratus yes trish stratus having the best character models i've seen in the game so far and that's right a new Trish Stratus character model is confirmed and she looks absolutely fantastic. Now speaking of the roster, the superstars that I had access to from the female side were Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, Dakota Kai, Io Sky, Rhea Ripley, Bailey, Shayna Baszler, Trish Stratus, Selena Vega, and on the male side I had access to Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, Ravishing Rick Rude, The Ultimate Warrior, Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston, L.A. Knight, yeah. <laughs> Sami Zayn, Hulk Hogan from 2002, Seth Frickin' Rollins, Stone Cold Steve Austin from 97, The Undertaker, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton. Now the game is visually stunning to look at. As I booted up my first match, I noticed Charles Robinson as one of the new seven licensed referees in the game. It was amazing to see Little Nage get his moment in the game finally. And a big thing you can do with this year's game is that you can switch the camera angle from the hard cam to the ramp cam. And if you are a big fan of Here Comes the Pain like I am, you know that's the angle that you've always wanted to go back to. And you can finally do that here in WWE 2K24. And I love it, especially when it comes to the rumble, because now you can see people make their entrances once and for all. And on that note, the devs also confirmed to me that they have a dedicated team that solely works on the presentation. So in this game, you will see a lot more different camera angles, especially outside the ring, which is very welcomed. Blood is still in the game and looks amazing. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I should be excited about that. Does that say anything about me? You know, yeah, it's not even spooky season yet, Ben. <laughs> so you will notice a lot more blood from ear to ear, dripping down the chest and actually going on to things like the canvas, the mats on the outside and even the backstage areas as well. And before you comment on how it looks, the devs have already confirmed that they still have two months left of the game and that's one of the things they're looking to polish up but i was playing the game and i saw the blood dripping everywhere and it it was just it just made it so much better and it, make, it really makes me sound very weird when i'm promoting the fact that there's lots of blood in this game <laughs> Now, when it comes to gameplay, it's very familiar to what we're already used to from you know, the previous installments. But one big thing that was a, a, an annoyance well, in 2K23 was the constant clashing. You run into each other, you send them off the ropes, and you just clash because you couldn't time the maneuvers correctly. Now, when I was playing my first match, I kept sending Rollins off the rope. And as I was hitting the, the attack, whether that was a strike or grapple, my character Cody would actually go into position and ready for it. Like it's a small change that keeps the match flowing beautifully without having to go and crash. It's something small, but makes a massive difference to the overall feel of the game. New this year is the Trading Blows mini game, which locks you in a duel of attacks, no holds, strikes only. And to play this mini game, you hold X until the growing meter is inside the green or gold zone. Release the button inside either zone to strike. Miss three times and you'll lose. Now this can be triggered by just pushing and holding the light attack button. To trigger this, simply hold the light attack button and you will engage in the duel of strikes. Remember, don't lose three times, otherwise you will gain. 
a disadvantage and be stunned. The attitude of the EST written all over it. Fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Oh. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Bang. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no And on the topic of gameplay, new to this year is something called Super Finishers. Now, Super Finishers are exactly what it says on the tin that will put your opponent down on the canvas for the entire three counts. It is something that even overrides the resiliency payback. Now, not every superstar has one, but out of the 24 playable stars I had access to, 13 of them had Super Finishers, and they were Becky Lynch and the Avalanche Man Handle Slam, Bianca Belair and the 450 Splash, Charlotte Flair and the Middle Rope Natural Selection, Rhea Ripley with the Avalanche Riptide, Bailey with the Avalanche Bailey to Belly, Zelina Vega with the Middle Rope Code Red, Cody Rhodes with the Crossroads Trinity. Roman Reigns with a Superman Punch Spear Combo. Oh, no. Sami Zayn with the Top Rope Brain Buster. Here. Seth Rollins with two, which were the Springboard Stomp and the new Super Stomp. The Undertaker also had two, the Leaping Tombstone Power Driver and the Hell's Gate Submission. Kevin Owens also had two, which were the Package Power Driver and the apron powerbomb and last but not least randy orton also had two which were the avalanche rko and the punt kick he's had incredible animations including rhea ripley's avalanche riptide which was the second one i got to use and i absolutely just loved it i can't wait to see what other super finishes we've got in the game now let's talk 40 years of wrestlemania showcase and like i said i got to play three matches the first one was ravishing rick rude versus ultimate warrior at wrestlemania 5 Rhea Ripley vs. Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania 39, Night 1. Rhea Ripley wanted to prove that a new generation was ready to take over the throne that the Queen had occupied. But that's easier said than done. A Roman Reigns vs. Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39, Night 2. They do exactly what you expect from your typical showcase matches as the slingshot tech bounces us in and out of real life matches into the game so seamlessly. So with Showcase, you can choose or choose not to do the objectives or the extra objectives that you can do, um, but it plays like your previous year Showcase matches. But they are fun nonetheless, and I did enjoy recreating the WrestleMania 39, even though that only happened last year, but it's fun to play these new matches again. I did enjoy it, and I'm interested to see what other matches are in there. And on that topic, what matches would you like to see in the 40 years of WrestleMania Showcase? Let me know in the comments below. And hopefully, hey, we can predict them all right. Now, it's time to get to the part where you're all waiting for, which is the new match type. But before we get to the ambulance match, let's touch on the backstage brawls. Because it's important, because now you can do up to four players battling it out in either a one knockout finish or elimination style finish to see who's the baddest of them all. New in the backstage is the elevator, which you can travel up and down in, or even drag your opponents and throw them out in as well. There's another new thing, such as a vending machine, that dispenses bottled water, which you can actually use to hit your opponent upside the head or even launch bottles at them. Yes, you can throw weapons at each other as I touched on earlier, and you can throw pretty much every single weapon that I tried. I tried the table, the chair, kendo stick, spade, <laughs> bats. You can throw pretty much anything and you can catch them too. Really gives me that here comes the pain style feeling when you used to throw weapons at each other all the time. But yes, bottled water and the water dispenser is in the game. And I've kept you waiting long enough. So now let's go to the ambulance match, which steals the show here, yeah, in my opinion. From everything I played, I must have played this the longest. It must have lasted about 25, 30 minutes. And this was against the AI. The goal of the match is to beat up your opponent enough to throw them into the back of the ambulance and slam the doors shut, leaving the victor. And like I said, I had that near 30 minute match versus Cody Rhodes. And it was harder than I thought to pick up the win. 
I will post a full match in the next couple of days. So what can you actually do in the match? Well, to start off with the ambulance, it actually gets its own entrance. Woo! Which got a really big pop from us all. Shout out to my boy Deontay DDJ for the footage here of the ambulance making its entrance. Link to his channel below. Amazing content creator and friend. I should you know, hope that you will go and check him out as well. You have to manually open the doors, which you can use by pressing the L1 button or the left bumper button on the Xbox controller. And you can use them to bash your opponent with them as well. You can whip your opponent against the ambulance, then use grapples to throw them in or use the carry grapples to throw your opponent into the ambulance and close the doors, which triggers a little mini game for both doors. First door shut. It's important to know that you can use resiliency as well to bash those doors back open just in case you think you're going to lose the match. You can also climb atop the ambulance and brawl on the ambulance and even throw your opponent off the top of the ambulance and then jump off the ambulance on top of your opponent. Believe me, I have done that about 50 times in during them six hours. And one of the best things about it is that you can actually transition from the ringside area to the stage and go backstage where there's another ambulance waiting for you. So you can just take this all over the, I say the arena, all over the ring and the ringside area and then all over the backstage area as well it's amazing it's very fun and I, I very much enjoyed it it's safe to say that this match type is extremely fun and i only played against the ai and i actually struggled sometimes trying to get the door to close on my opponent so playing against your friends will probably only cause even more chaos if anything this gets me even more excited for the other three match types that being the special referee casket match and a returning gauntlet match which i'm really hoping plays like the old school slobber knocker games but before i wrap up this video there's two more things i've noticed whilst i was playing these games there were the two new paybacks in this game but the first one was called iron jaw which immediately recovers you from being stunned great because i get stunned too often because i'm not very good at these games and the other payback i saw was a rage which fills the remainder of your finisher meter to gain your next finisher stock and that's it that's what i got to play there's lots to take in there's probably some bits that i may have missed out and i do have um, a couple of full matches that i can showcase off i do have the full entrances of the 24 superstars i've got to play which i will circulate throughout today and the next coming days this isn't the full game i obviously didn't get to play anything to do with my faction i didn't get to play anything to do with my rights because this is a very limited build but from what i played so far i am very very excited obviously anything can change between now and the release of wwe 2k24 on march 8th but from what i played i have to say i enjoyed it i love just fun chaos in my wrestling games and i get fun chaos especially in this ambulance match very good and the addition of super finishers makes things even more fun from someone that always seems to have three stacks of finishers just sat there sometimes hopefully you liked this video if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing as well for more wwe 2k content and fun fancy content if you also find a fantasy fan i will be posting more content from my time with wwe 2k24 leading up to the release of 2k24 and we will be obviously doing live streams here on youtube as well when 2k24 comes out Honestly, i'm really excited to cover this game and hopefully hopefully the rest of the things that they have that i didn't get to play lives up to the hype especially special referee and casket and gauntlet i'm really excited for the match ties basically so yeah let me know what you think down in the comments below let me know what you're excited for when it comes to WWE 2K24. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye now.